Hey folks, Matt from Art of the Image. Exciting weekend, exciting day, but exciting weekend for me because this showed up on Friday right before the end of the day. And I don't know if you can tell, but the laptop looks a little bigger in today's video. That's because Acer sent me an Acer V Nitro for review. I want to do some uh, tests and reviews on this. Going to do a long-term one and see how this does as a photo and video processing laptop. Let me tell you what the specs are on this thing. It's pretty impressive. Uh, first of all, let me show you the difference between my old laptop. I think you could see there the difference. Maybe it doesn't show it quite, quite as well, but this is a lot smaller. I can hide this right behind this laptop. This is 12 or 14, I think. My, um, my V, this is a V7. And I can't remember, does it say on here if it's a 14? I think it might be a 14. Um, this is 17 inch. And this is a 4K Ultra HD. It says right on here, 3840 by 2160, 4K Ultra HD. So this is really cool because not only is this the first laptop I've had with a 4K HD screen, Ultra HD, UHD, it's also uh, the first 4K monitor I've had. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty impressive. The detail on here is insane, just even in terms of general viewing. Um, yes, the laptop's a little bigger and heavier than my other one. I think this one's around six pounds. Uh, but this laptop, uh, not only does it have a 17.3, I think it is, a 4K screen, um, the resolution there with the 4K is insane. It's got a Blu-ray writer built right in. It's got a GeForce GTX, what is it here, a 960M with, I believe, 4 gig. Let me check. 4 gig dedicated memory, yes. Um, so this is an i7 quad-core. So it's a quad-core i7. The Intel i7s tend to be the best when you're working with video especially, uh, and I think that overlaps too into gaming. Um, but it's a quad-core it has the large screen, the 4K. It's got that enhanced or that better um, video card when we're talking laptops. Often a video card will not, or uh, often a video card, often a laptop will not have this good a video card. This is the GT, uh, GTX 960M with four gig dedicated memory. So that's pretty cool. Uh, 16 gig DDR4 SD RAM. So it's DDR4, not DDR3. So a little faster RAM. And it's got 16. I think my V7 only has eight. Um, and it has a one terabyte hard drive paired with a 256 uh, SSD. And I've already noticed that the startup times on here, the, the um, copying things over, the opening my programs like uh, Photoshop and Adobe Premiere Pro, just much, much faster, really snappy, really quick. And really, so far, my initial impressions are awesome on this thing. I, I was up at uh, Mums on the weekend, did some shooting with the FZ300 uh, from Panasonic, took some photos, put them on here, imported them very quickly. I had a fast card, fast computer, uh, edited them very quickly, and it didn't seem to have any problems running Lightroom. And I'm very interested excited to test this for Premiere Pro as well. It's got lots of ports and things. We have at least three, I know on this side, USB 3 ports. We've got HDMI out. We've got the Blu-ray, as I said. It's got an enhanced cooling system to keep this uh, super duper i7 quad core cool. So it's got an app for that too. That you can control it. And if you need, you know, if you're working really heavy, I think you can boost the fan speeds and things. Just a really well thought out, really cool laptop. One thing I noticed even is it even has an app. If I'm not mistaken, I came across an app on here where you could turn the amount of blue light coming out of the screen down at night because I don't know if you've read about that, but the blue, right out of your, blue light out of your devices will keep you up at night. So they say you can actually get apps that will shield the blue light out so that at night you're not going to be kept up. Uh, and apparently this will do that for you and you can even adjust how much. So just a really neat, well thought out laptop. Um, the, as I said, the 4K is phenomenal. I'm so far really impressed with the whole uh, performance of the laptop. We're gonna put it through its paces. You're gonna see it a lot because this will be the new laptop sitting here when we do our Q and A's. Uh, but yeah, I've just been really, it's been really pleasurable experience working with this Acer. I've had a lot of Acers over the years. You've all seen my V7 that's always on the desk here for Q and A's. Love it. 
never have had any problems with Acer's. I've had problems with Dell laptops. I had I had a quad core i7 that cost me a lot of money and it just stopped one day. It was always seemed to be overheating and shutting down and then it just died. Not having any problems with this Acer so far. It seems to, you know, it's working great. It's not, doesn't sound like it's overheating, like the fans aren't running continuously. It doesn't get too hot. I often sit with it in my lap. So initial impressions, really good. I like the um, tactile feel of the kind of rubbery black plastic of the case. It's very nice. Um, it's still very thin. It's still a very thin laptop as far as size goes. It's it's big, yes, as far as that's a 17 inch because if you're gonna buy a 17 inch laptop, you're gonna get a 17 inch, um, but, but thin. Um, and still a very nice laptop as far as uh, size and weight goes for the for the um, fact that you're getting a 17 inch screen an included blu-ray right blu-ray writer just really nice unit if you guys have any questions about it leave them in the comments below we'll be doing more videos on it and of course you can always ask questions if anything you're curious about um, I may even start I'm not a big gamer but hey maybe I should start playing choose a game that looks interesting and try it because I'm curious to see how this laptop works for gaming as well because it's a pretty powerfully spec laptop you know you got an i7 quad core you got a dedicated 4 gig uh, video card you've got uh, 16 gig of RAM you've got a terabyte drive and a 256 SSD like, this thing is just built for power and speed and so far it's been handling the Adobe programs I've been throwing at it I'd be really curious to try the Premiere Pro. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay tuned. Uh, and again, leave your questions, comments below. If you're interested in the, in, the, in the V Nitro, if you have any questions about it, if you have one and experiences, let me know. Uh, and thanks for tuning in. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.